इफ़ यू हैव वॉच माई ओल्डो वीडियोज दैन यू माइट हैव सीन दिस लिटल आर्ट कॉर्नर वेर आई स्टार्टड पेंटिंग लास्ट ईयर दो आई लव दिस कॉर्नर इट वॉज रियली ब्राइट एंड कोजी आई रियली नीडेड सम मोर स्पेस वेर आई कैन पेंट मोर फ्रीली सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग विद माई हजबेंड वी डिसाइडेड टू हैव माई आर्ट स्पेस इन दी अदर बेडरूम विच इज स्लाइटली बिगर वी लिव इन अ टू बेडरूम हाउस एंड दिस इज अ रेंटेड अपार्टमेंट सो देर इज नॉट मच आई कैन प्ले अराउंड विद बट आई एम गोन ट्राई एंड क्रिएट अ स्पेस विच स्पीक्स टू मी So stick around till the end if you want to see how that goes. So this is the other bedroom. We have moved the bed out for the time being so that I can arrange the things around here. I think the best part of this room is this balcony. I am so excited to have this view while I work. I really hope it's not going to be too distracting, but I'm really looking forward to having this space. I'd bought only three pieces of furniture. One is this IKEA table. The other two tables that you see uh, were a part of this house when we moved in. But the tables are really narrow and they didn't give a good surface area to work on, so I bought this new one. The second furniture is this metal rack. This one's from Amazon. But after putting it together, I felt that I should have gone for the five feet one. This is a little too tall for me, but it took us so long to put the rack together. So we didn't really want to go through the pain of dismantling it and returning it. So I'm going to make do with this. So before committing to any certain arrangement I wanted to get a taste of how it would be to work in this setting I especially wanted to check the direction of the sunlight as I'm right-handed I decided to set the space to the right of the balcony so that I don't have any strong shadows falling on top since the sunlight would be falling from the left side so this is uh, a temporary setup most of you must have seen this setup in my previous videos but if you're new here and you haven't checked out my previous videos then please go watch them So overall I really like the setup and I was comfortable working in this area but I did realize that I want to have a separate space for my computer related work and digital art and a separate space for my painting because my painting table does get quite messy very fast and uh, it's very difficult to use my computer while I'm in the middle of a painting or if I haven't cleaned up so this space I've decided to 
make it my painting area before that i want to do a different color paint in this center space i was really contemplating if i should paint or not because this is a rented space and we will be moving out probably next year but i still wanted to give a bit of color here so i have decided to do this light sage i'd say like a really really light sage color uh, which is so soothing to the eye and it's i think it's barely seen on camera but in person it is visible and uh, really appealing to the eye and i love the slight contrast it gives with that white wall there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are I didn't want to do the entire wall for a change I decided to do like a dome shape on top so that I don't have to paint the entire wall And now the fun part begins That's all I want to do I'll touch you safe that I'll see you soon If I can lay down beside you So I'm trying out this super simple room decor thing that I saw on Pinterest. Apparently all we need these wooden rings. I'm using this old embroidery ring that I had and any kind of thick yarn or twine. I have real flowers right now so I'm going to use them and I'm sure they're going to look really pretty even after they start drying. Oh my god guys Look how cute this is and this is super easy too
so this space is going to be just for art and to paint and to create this is probably the area which will get messy it's that area and right opposite that i will be having my computer my printer i still have to set this space up i think it's it's good to have this distinction 